it boys and girls, Miss Quast here with another story for you. This is an Earth Day story called The Mess That We Made. And this is a really neat story that shares a little bit of information about um, pollution that we might find in the oceans. And I know we don't live that close to an ocean, but these are things that are happening outside of Vancouver and all across the world. And what I like about this story is that in the back, it shows a world map and it shows the garbage patches across the oceans, the world's oceans. And you can notice that every single ocean has a large garbage patch because the currents keep them all connected. And so we're over here in Kamloops and by North America, and we have the Great Pacific garbage patch. And so our garbage gets stirred and sent over towards Asia and we get theirs collected back this way and it keeps revolving that way. So this is um, a realistic fiction story. We're going to learn a little bit about <clears throat> some problems that we're seeing in the world and also some things that we can do to make change and make things for the better for the creatures in the ocean and make the waters cleaner. The Mess That We Made, written by M Michelle Lord, illustrated by Julia Blattman. And the illustrations in this book are very beautiful and it looks very nice from far away but when you look really closely there's lots of garbage it's not just bright colors and swirls and at fish it's actually garbage that's in the water this is the mess that we made you can see there's a seal pup here that has a net wrapped around him there's a turtle a sea turtle that has a plastic bag on its flipper these are the fish that swim in the mess that we made this is the seal that eats the fish that swim in the mess that we made. And you can see this fish is coming in and eating a, bo a bottle cap. And what happens is, is if it eats the bottle cap and the seal eats that, the plastics bioaccumulate into larger predators. And so anything that eats that is going to get anything, any plastics that these smaller <clears throat> fish have eaten. Those rings that go around your paw, there's plastic, there's garbage bags. This is the net that catches the seal that eats the fish that swim in the mess that we made. And these nets are called ghost nets. They come from fishing barges and instead of bringing them in and disposing of them in a landfill, people sometimes throw them into the ocean so they're not attached to any boat. So what they can do is they can catch animals and they can kill the animals that get caught there. Or if they get caught around an animal, um, like a turtle, it can deform the shell because it's so tightly wrapped around it that the shell grows in a different way. This is the boat of welded steel that dumps the net that catches the seal that eats the fish that swim in the mess that we made. And again, there's lots of garbage that's floating along the top of the water. This is the current that swirls through the bay that rocks the boat of welded steel that dumps the net that catches the seal that eats the fish that swim in the mess that we made. And this one has one wrapped, a ghost net wrapped right around his body. And he might live like that until he dies. This is the turtle green and gray that rides the current through the bay that rocks the boat of the welded steel, that dumps the net, that catches the seal, that eats the fish, that swims in the mess that we made. And to this, to the sea turtle, this plastic bag looks a lot like a jellyfish, and that's a main part of the sea turtle's diet. So it might think that's a tasty snack or some lunch and eat that, and that could really injure him. And if you look closely up at this sea turtle, you can see he's got the rings that connect to pop six pack together and it's warped around his neck. <clears throat> this is the plastic thrown away that traps the turtle green and gray that rides the current through the bay that rocks the boat of welded steel that dumps the net that catches the seal that eats the fish that swim in the mess that we made. And a lot of these plastics, they're um, called microplastics and they're so small that they're hard to see. And so when an animal might be swimming along, he might not even know that he's eating them, or he might see them shimmer in the light and think they're a small fish and might eat them instead. And that would make them very unwell. And if we eat those fish that have eaten the plastic, we're eating the plastic that the fish, the animals consumed. It's a neat 
point of view from the bottom of the ocean looking up towards the children in the boat and you can see all the manta rays and the seals and the turtles swimming there's some whales there too this is the landfill growing each day that spills the plastic thrown away that traps the turtle green and gray that rides the current through the bay that rocks the boat of welded steel that dumps the net that catches the seal that eats the fish that swim in the mess that we made and so this is a landfill and when we throw something away we don't actually ever throw it away it has to go somewhere and plastic doesn't disintegrate and so it's always around on the earth and you can see that a lot of it's being blown into the water there we are the people at work and at play that stuff the landfill growing each day that spills the plastic thrown away that traps the turtle green and gray that rides the current through the bay that rocks the boat of welded steel that dumps the net that catches the seal that eats the fish that swim in the mess that we made and you can see a lot of people here taking their vehicles adding a lot of air pollution there's garbage and trash all along the sidewalk here trash over on the fields this person's bringing a load to the dump but he hasn't tied it down and so it's falling down and look at even the people that are enjoying the beach there's garbage all over that beach look at the mess that we made Look at the skyline and you can see how smoggy and air pollution it's very heavy along the coast there where the buildings are you can't even see the buildings and look at the animals that live there i noticed that there was a one of those little fisher price cars with the yellow top you know one of your little brothers and sisters might have one of those and there's a mother whale with her calf she has a ghost net wrapped around her fin and her body and so does her calf Lots of these animals, these dolphins swimming along here do as well. But we are the ones who can save the day. Reduce our waste at work and at play. Recycle the plastic thrown away. And these people are doing a beach cleanup. And look at, they're taking the bus instead of each taking their own car. Someone's riding their bike to work. And there's the recycling truck and they're cleaning up the mess that's on the water and on the um, shore. To shrink the landfill without delay. And they've gotten rid of all that garbage and now it's a reclaimed beach. So instead of a landfill, they're using it for pleasure. It's starting to look a lot better and the air is looking better and cleaner. We rescue the turtle green and gray and haul the garbage from the bay. So there's people diving to collect garbage in scuba suits. This boat has a large net and it's pulling it in towards the, the boat and it's collecting all of the plastic and garbage and they're gathering it up there on the ship. We protest the boats of welded steel, collect the nets and free the seal that eats the fish water looks much better and look at they're loosening all the nets that were surrounding that seal that swim in the ocean that we save and that's quite a nicer picture isn't it from the previous one we can see the city you can see the skyscrapers they're not covered by smog there's people enjoying the ocean on sailboats the creatures look at it's free of all the pollution so just when you think hope is lost, remember that we and you as children have a lot of power and you can make a lot of change. So think of things that you can do at your home to help keep our oceans and our waterways clear. Thanks for listening. Talk to you soon.